how you do and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in thank you to my subscribers and my newcomers welcome to the fam this is a channel where you'll find a little bit of this and a little bit of that everything girly and some motivation along the way so today i am coming to you to share my most used bags of 2022 i recently shared a video and i'll link it above of the bags that I least use. Matter of fact, those were bags I didn't use at all. And now I'm gonna share bags that I did. Now, these are not gonna be in any particular order, but the most used one I will save to the end. And my phone is ringing. I hope that didn't interfere with the video. We're gonna keep on going. All right, so this particular bag was my anniversary present last year. So I actually got it to be in February. And it is the MCM Liz Shopper in the medium size. The color is cognac. This is the Facet Facetos um, print. And I love this tote. Love, love, love it. I'm sorry, my phone just keeps ringing. All right. And this tote is very lightweight because it is a coated canvas material the shoulder straps are so comfortable so when it comes down to totes y'all know i'm a tote chick i love a tote because i like to look in see my stuff and get it go i don't like digging and moving things out to get to items um for me the absolute major pro for this bag is the shoulder strap it is so comfortable with a coat. You can have a big coat on, thin coat. It carries well. My items inside of it don't weigh my shoulder down. Like I don't feel the weight of the items in the bag like I do in my Neverfull. But this bag I used a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. It is just an open tote. Let me take my towel out. It's just an open tote does not have any interior pockets if you're familiar with it it does come with a pouch and let me show you the pouch now the pouch jazzy girl for life shared a video and how she had changed hers to a crossbody so that's actually how i use the pouch so i'll show it to you on this side so you can see what it's supposed to look like and it does have like a little wristlet to it and it opens like so this it can actually be used as a shoulder bag, like a crawl, I mean, an extra additional bag. With the strap that comes with it, you could put that on your shoulder and literally carry this as a shoulder bag. I changed it into a crossbody bag after watching Jersey Girl for Life's video. So I ordered this strap off of Amazon. It came with this round corn pouch. And I ordered the black chain and I made it a crossbody. So this is what it looks like. Fantastic carry when you're traveling, when you're shopping on the weekend. So that was just a major plus with that particular item. So that is my first most used bag. So now for me, I'm not sure about you all. During the week, I just love a tote. I need a tote in my life during the week. On the weekend, I may downsize a little bit to like a hobo shoulder bag or a smaller size bag. But for the most part, I just love totes. So that is one of my most used bags. The second one is this beauty right here. This is my Marc Jacobs tote in the small size and I have the color black. I love this tote right here. Now this is an all leather bag. And as you can tell, I changed my strap on here. I ordered this off of Etsy because it's all of the colors that I love. So when I use pink accessories, blue accessories, yellow accessories, I can have the same strap on and keep moving. It made the bag more comfortable to me to carry because it is a leather bag. It is, it does have weight when you put your items in there. But I love this bag, you hear me? I actually want a different color. I wish I had gotten that color that looks like a yellow, almost like my sweater. It almost looks like this color right here. If I had got that bag, I would have been in heaven. I missed it and I haven't seen it anywhere. 
but I wanted this strap so bad. When I ordered it, it came with silver hardware. I went and bought some gold hardware and had my girlfriend put it on there for me. I love this bag. It has a zipper top. I do not like zipper tops like this. Now, if it's a single zipper, you know, like a single zipper across the top, that's perfect. But when it has this extra material like this, I don't really care for that. So what I do when I carry this bag is, I found that I enjoy it mostly with an organizer inside. And so you will see that I just take the flaps and I push them down where they're flush. And then I have my organizer. So it's just an open tote for me because I just take the flap and push it down. Now the bag does come with a zipper pocket and two slip pockets right here. But my zippered items are things that I don't really reach for all the time. So when I put the flap down, it covers that zipper and that's fine. It does not cover the slip pocket, so it works for me. But I use it with an organizer and I love it. Love, love, love it. Now, some people have a problem with the strap causing the leather to bend down. It does not bother me at all, at all, like at all. So I carry it just like that. This bag is everything in a bag of chips, y'all. Everything, everything. Very nice carry. Um, this is the strap that came with it. And as you can tell, it's thin. So that's why I didn't use that. But I did also order a solid black one. So when I carry my accessories that are not pink, you know, these summer colors, I could have a solid black strap. Now, if you notice, can you see it? This one does have the gold hardware already on it. I didn't have to exchange it or anything. And I ordered this on Etsy as well. And it goes super nice with the bag. So that is my next most used bag. Again, a tote, but a smaller tote. So it was great like on the weekends, but I can carry this bag. I carried it during the week as well. I loved it, loved it. The only con in this bag is that you have to watch the items you put in because it can get heavy. And again, that's gonna be the case with any leather bag. You know, if you carry a full leather bag, it's gonna get heavy. All right, so let's go, what's next? This would probably be my, oh sorry, moving the tripod, hold on. I got everything laid on top of each other. This is probably my next most used bag, another MCM. However, it's not a tote. It is my, I think it's called a Clara. In this powder pink, I love it. It is a hobo style bag. I absolutely love, love, love it. Has a pocket on the back. Super lightweight, the strap is wide. This bag, I carried it from the beginning of spring, I'm telling you, all the way through. And I carry this bag year round, to be honest. Pinks for me work year round. And this is what it looks like on the inside. There's a piece of paper, a little piece of paper down there. You have your pockets here on the side, over here. And then you have a zipper pocket there. I love it, the hardware is gold. Absolutely love the carry of this bag. It holds a lot. Super cute, super cute, super cute. So that is my third most used bag. And it does come with an additional strap that you could use for crossbody, but I just carry it as a shoulder bag. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if I have even shown this next bag on my channel. Um, I don't remember doing an unboxing or what's in my bag and I probably need to do that for this bag. But this is my next most used bag. When I purchased this bag, I was simply shocked at how much I could carry in it. But it is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. Listen. This bag carries a lot. When I tell you I can carry this bag during the week, that means it carries a lot. I carry this bag just like I carry my Neverfull. This bag 
is a great travel bag because it has a crossbody strap in here, which is normally how I carry it or wear it is with the strap. And um, I use it as a crossbody. It just has this push button here and you open it and you have your compartments. And here is the shoulder strap. Love this bag. Can't tell you how many trips this bag went on. It has three compartments here, here, the middle and this front. This bag. And then you have a zipper compartment here that holds my phone, which at the time was a um, Apple 12 Pro Max. I still have my um, cards in here. Um, but this bag, I'm telling you, it's an absolute great carry. It holds a lot. It's so easy. When I traveled, I carried it. It's just great. It's just great. I love, love, love it. I will do a what's in my bag in here to show you how it carries for me and the items that I carry in it. I don't have any cons for this bag at all. None. I don't have any problems with the glazing. I did purchase it in the beginning of last year. I want to say um, probably around April maybe. I'm not even sure. But I get, oh my goodness, a lot of use out of this baby right here absolute amazing carry love it the top handle and what i love about it the most is you don't have to worry it's carefree so if you're in the rain you don't have to worry about any um but you leather you don't have to worry about anything it's weatherproof and just a great awesome carry all right so that is that so that's four right all right so i'm going to throw in another little one because this is my oldest Louis Vuitton that I own. And this one was what I used before I purchased the Pochette Matisse for my trips. Now, the Pochette Matisse, I gave my baby the boot. So, I'm going to have to still give her some love. But this is my Eva Clutch in the Damiere Ben print from Louis Vuitton. This is my oldest piece that I still have in my collection or stash. Um, I use this bag simply on every trip. It's going to be in my suitcase because I use it to shop. I use it amusement parks because it is the treated leather. You don't have to worry about it getting wet on a water ride or anything like that. Um, you can tell I've used it. My plate is really scratched up here. <laughs> I have a lot of scratches on my plate, but I love this bag. This is I've used it so much, this is so soft, it makes no sense. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's so soft because I use it so, 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 so much. Um, this is a bag that has a lot of versatility to it because when I use it for shopping, I use a crossbody. But if I'm going out to like a little nice dinner, I will use the chain, this chain, as a strap, strap for it. You can tell that my hardware is starting to age a lot, but I will use it like this. Just a cute carry. I'm telling you, I have even carried it just as like a little clutch under my arm without the straps. So I love versatility in a bag. You'll notice that most of my bags can be used as a shoulder bag, crossbody bag, or handheld. That's a win-win-win for me. I love it. So this is my most used little bag. I'll say my little small bag. All right. So you guys probably already know what my most used bag is, right? Now I can already tell you for 2023, it's not going to be the same bag because another bag has come in and just knocked it out of the woodworks. Okay. Just knocked it out the park. Like it has completely knocked my Neverfull out. Okay. So y'all know, y'all know, my Neverfull is my most used bag. <laughs> Listen, call it what you want to. You can call it the basic whatever. However you want to call it, this is my boo thing. You hear me? My friends know I love my Neverfull. Listen, I will move into a bag. Neverfull will call me. I say I'm coming. I go get her, pack her up, and we ride. Now, the strangest thing about this tote is... The straps aggravate the stew out of me. The straps are not comfortable. To me, they're not. 
because I am thick, okay? So when I put this on my shoulders, you see how close it sits right here? But this is still my carry. It's still my carry. It, I think it's because it's such a lightweight tote that when you put things in it, you can put a whole bunch of things in here and it doesn't get too weighed down where it's uncomfortable. It's just putting it on and off. You gotta, I have to slide it up my arms. I can't throw it on like this. It doesn't pass the elbow test for me. That's my con. But this bag, I love a Neville for so much. I started out with the Dominique Ben one, wore that out completely, and then purchased this one. And this one has aged, and I have wore it out. But we're still going strong with it. But I'm telling you, I have another boo thing that's knocking her out the park, but I would never get rid of it. I will always have a never full. I mean, I have this one. I may purchase another one, but I will always have a never full in my collection or my stash. I love it. I have the luggage tag on here. Um, I love everything about it. I don't have any problems with my Vachetta. Um, one strap is darker than the other. I don't know if you can tell. But this is my girl. Y'all know I love a Neverfull. You know, it's funny to me how people talk about bags, you know, that they once loved or have never loved. But you know, what works for me may not work for you. But I'm telling you, this is my boo thing. She is my boo thing. I don't care how many people have it. I don't. The more the merrier. We don't live in the same state and city. We're not in the same family. We don't see each other, so that means we're not carrying it at the same time. All is well. All is well. She, boo. This is my boo thing. I'm telling you. Love my Neverfull. Actually thinking about getting it in another print. The Neverfull comes with this pouch that I never use. <laughs> I have tried. Now, I'm going to tell you what I do like to do with it. Is use it as a wallet. I like to put my cards in the flap pocket my cash straight across on this side and throw my coins down in the bottom with a pen and carry it as a wallet. However, I don't use this as much, I mean, hardly ever do I use this. And you can tell by the color of my, my strap compared to the bag. You can see the difference. Big, huge difference because I very seldom use this pouch. Although I like it and I would not sell it because I remember when I had my Dominique Ben one, I sold this and regretted it. So I'm trying not to have regrets again. It's great for receipts. You can utilize this for whatever you want to or catch all, however you want to use it. I just, for some reason, don't use it, but I'm going to start using it in bags. But this is my most used, my girl, Miss Neverfull. All right, guys. Those are my most used bags for 2022. I can tell you that it will be different for 2023. One thing about handbags and me, for me and my personality is my, not only does my taste change, it never changes from a tote though. I am a tote chick, but I do like hobos and other bags as well. However, my lifestyle changes. So when I'm not working like I used to out of the city where I needed everything with me for the day, that is the reason the totes were so convenient. Um, that may not be the case if I don't have that lifestyle anymore. So when I don't need all of my things, I can downsize to smaller bags. However, even when I'm in my smaller bags, a tote calls my name. I'm telling you, they call me. I have to move into one. It, I, there's not a month that's gonna go by that I don't carry a tote. I'm almost prompted to say, a week but you know I got a new baby one of my new babies she had me in her for like three weeks and I didn't carry a tote so I'm not gonna say I have to carry it every week because clearly I don't but anyway those are my most used for the year 2022 share in the comments if you have any of these bags and if you like them um, you know in the bag community Everything is not for everybody, but these this is what is for me, and I love them. I love them. These bags are not going anywhere. They are great carries, and they make my life simple for the use that I need them in. I actually was thinking about getting the MCM Liz in the pink. You know they came out with the pink small tote. 
I try not to even watch those videos a lot because I add to cart. And I'm just trying to chill a little bit, y'all, because I have done a lot. I have done a lot. And I'm going to share it. But I did want to share those with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next time, be determined to be the best you you can be. Remember, life is fragile, so handle it with care. Have a great one.